Hi, my name is Darren, recruiting advisor here with Next Play Athletics. COVID has had a huge impact on you, your sports, probably everything you're doing right now. Um, luckily, the athletes I've been working with had a plan to get through this. They've been signing with the schools they've previously had conversations with, previously built relationships with. I've been telling people, if you've had a plan, you would have been good for a moment like this. Um, however, it wasn't really until I heard what Tom Izzo had to say that really got me thinking, like, how big of an impact this could really be. I mean, I look at a, a thing like, I think it was Shabazz Napier. Uh, they beat us in the Elite Eight uh, in, like, 14 or 13 or uh, something like that. And he went on to have an unbelievable tournament. They were a seven seed. They won the national championship. He became a first-round pick, I believe, because of it, you know, and people are going to lose uh, opportunities both in high school and college. I 100% feel for you seniors. I 100% um, feel for everybody who's going through that same, who just lost their senior years, even junior years, because as a senior in high school, I was trying to get that scholarship offer I want, to better my scholarship offers. As a senior in university, I was talking to scouts. I was trying to get drafted that year. And to have that taken away, your legacy is just built on your last year. And I, I feel really uh, sorry for you athletes out there. So COVID might also change the landscape for recruiting, like as we know it. Um, this is something interesting I found out. So imagine being the number one football team for the last 10 years in college football. And your head coach does not have... An email. That's right. Nick Saban did not have an email until now. Positive of this for me is I even have an email now. So, um, you know, I've, I've come a long way. I was hard, you have. It was hard to communicate when you have to be by yourself and you always depend on somebody else to get your emails and messages and all that. And it just didn't work. All right. And they were sending, they were sending them all to Miss Terry. All right. She fired mm -hmm. me. Uh, and she said, I'm not dealing with your stuff anymore. So I had to do it on my own. Recruiting is going to be, at least for the time being, done remotely. And you need to have a plan to do that. Um, it's just crazy to think that Nick Saban didn't have an email. So for all your athletes that are unsigned right now, kind of stuck at home doing nothing, looking for a scholarship still, I highly recommend you listen to the coach from Minnesota's advice right here. They had a great year this year, this guy. Some great advice on what you should do. Well, I think we just all have to be really intentional with all of our actions and not just have these intentions. We will tomorrow. We will tomorrow. We will tomorrow. We got to do it now. We have to be intentional with our actions. And whether that's practicing social distancing, whether that's checking on your neighbor, whether that's calling your mom and dad to check in, whether that's being a better humanitarian, whether that's being responsible with your own body to make sure that you don't infect anybody else. We will get through this. This is a very unprecedented time in our nation, in our world, in our globe that none of us have been through before. But if we all row the boat together and we all grab an oar and we all row in the same direction, same speed, same efficiency, and we're doing it together, we will get through it faster, better, and we'll actually have a better norm at the end because we're educated. And I think my wife, Heather, said it best. She said, Mother Nature told us all to go to our room and think about what we've all done. And with all due respect, I, I, she's right. On your recruiting process today, everybody's on an equal playing field. Everybody has to recruit from home. You can definitely stand out online. There's no excuse for you just to sit back and do nothing and hope a scholarship comes because you're not getting seen at the field anytime soon. So you have to create that online presence.